All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. Listen to me before you make your build. I know the game is not out yet, and I know this is information that'll probably be coming knowledge, you know, in the coming times, but listen, listen to me. When you make your build, man, make sure 100% that you pay attention to your badge count. Now, I know a lot of times we probably don't pay attention to the badge count because you really don't care what it does, but I just want to show you something. Just rock with me. Listen, this is my 3 and D play. I'm gonna make a 3 and D shooting guard, right? 3 and D shooting guard, all the stats look good. Like, looks like when he gets to 99, his stats are gonna look good. Everything's gonna be awesome, right? Boom. Let's slide in and let's just take a look. The 3 and D player, the way that they want you to build him is like this. They want you to max out all of the things here. Every badge category, every category has some BS that the player in that, that player that's making that player, he may not want to max out. He may want to max out depending on how you play. But for this one, for me, it's free throws and post fades as far as shooting the ball. If I want to get 18 badge points, each of those is not a badge, it's a badge point. You see that over there that's moving that says 17, it's gonna say 16, 15. Those are badge points towards a badge. It takes four of them to get a Hall of Fame badge. So if you want a Hall of Fame badge, you need four of those points. Right here, you just divide it by four. You got you know, 16, that's 16 with a remainder of two. So you get four Hall of Fame badges, four Hall of Fame shooting badges, or I could get and, 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 and then I could get a uh, silver badge or I could get six gold badges. I would probably elect to take the six gold badges. But with a player like this, if I do this, then I'm going to be lacking somewhere else. I'm not going to be. Okay, so let's say if I make him like this, boom. Let's, let's make him exactly how I want to make him. This is how I would make him, right? If I make this player like this, he's going to be extremely limited. So if you want a more, more versatile player, you can have the more versatile player, but you are going to have to absolutely pay attention to what badges you're able to get and what badges you're not able to get. And 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 like a lot of people will probably look at this and be like, why would you want playmaking? And I'm going to show you why you would want something like playmaking. Boom. This is from my stream earlier right here. And uh, I'm just going to jump through. A lot of the badges that you're going to choose and possibly get... Like, look, shooting. The, the shooting badges really don't matter, right? But if I'm going to be somebody that plays off ball, look at the badges. Look at the badges that I'm potentially giving up. Don't care about break starter. You got downhill. You've got uh, unpluckable. You got tight handles. Uh, quick first step. Quick first step is on this is on this one. If you want to be able to quick first step, space creator. All these badges are linked to your playmaking. You see what I'm saying? Post spin, technician, ankle breaker, all of that stuff. And even though I might not want that, this is how I would go. I'll probably go with unpluckable, quick first step, and uh, downhill. If I don't choose something, if I don't put something on playmaking, that's going to allow me to have. So if I, let's say I wanted those three badges to be gold, I've got to have at least nine points on playmaking. So that means I have to get here, and I got to max this out. Boom. So I got to have at least nine points on playmaking. I wouldn't put anything on post moves. I definitely would not. But as far as as far as the shooting badges go, we're going to jump back over to those. If I want my shooting badges, and like I said, we don't know how many other points you'll be able to earn because I'm sure that you're going to be able to earn points to add more and more. But I, what I want you to know is the way that your, the way that your guy is going to start off this is how it's gonna start off. I don't know if you get these points right off the bat and stuff like that, but like, look, if you don't put, if you pick a certain bill, certain people are only gonna be able to get, um, let me move this right here real quick. Certain people are only gonna be, the only defensive badge some people are gonna be able to get is gonna be clamps. And that's gonna be it. You're not gonna be able to have intimidating. You're not gonna be able to have interceptor. And it really looks like you're going to have to have interceptor and able to do it. I can get five Hall of Fame badges with the current build that I was telling you about. But as far as the shooting badges go, let's back up to the shooting badges. As far as the shooting badges go, the only thing I can do is I've got what? I've got I've got 18 points. Uh, Well, the way that I had it, I had like nine points, maybe 10 points. So I can get range extender a little bit. I can get, um, 
let me see. The way that I would actually build him, let's build him all the way out, and then then we'll be able, you'll be able to tell exactly where I'm going with this whole thing. So shot close, we're not gonna do that. Um, look, I don't even have any points left, so I got to pull back points here. If I want to be able to do anything, and I think I had ten points or something like that. So I want my driving layup. I don't. I think that's maxed out, right? So so we're gonna make driving layup be seventy. We'll make this be shot close will be eighty which it really don't even need to be 80. It probably doesn't even need to be that high, but you know, we're just gonna go along with it. All right, we're gonna take down post fades because if I wanna build a well-rounded player, this is what I'm gonna have to do. I wanna have a 75 dunk. Don't care about standing dunk. Uh, let me see. We'll go with, uh, we'll just max out dunk right here. All right, so boom. And then we'll put 70 on here and we'll just put the extra points there so I can have 10. Look, so the way as it stands, I can get one bronze finishing badge, I can get three gold badges and a silver, which, I mean, uh, uh, three gold badges, and I can, I can get either two Hall of Fame badges and then a silver badge or two bronze badges, which I could probably do Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame Dead Eye, and then, um, Bronze corner specialist, bronze range extender, or just four gold at it, just get silver, silver range extender. It really doesn't matter. But the whole point of what I'm trying to tell you is your badges are really going to make your play style. The attributes are just the first part. The badges are really what's going to make your play style. Just think about it. If you want to take dead eye shots, if you want to, if you want to be corner specialist, you got so much stuff. You got green machine. Um, you got your hot zone hunter, which is which is when you're shooting from a certain zone, you know, over and over, like like we all like to do. It it will it'll it, you know you got better chances to shoot the ball. There's so many things that you actually need. If you do not do this the right way, you're going to be missing badges. Let's say you're a play sharp and you want all 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 the other badges or whatever like that. It, like I said, it's just gonna be hard if you do not use your points judiciously you're going to end up with a player that's not going to, he may or may not, he may play exactly how you want him to. You might want somebody that only got one point. You might be somebody that says, you know what, I don't want that many points in defense. I'm going to take some of the stuff down. But just know, let's say if you don't put any rebounding on your character, watch how, watch those, watch these points fall. You don't put, well, I, I got other, I got other attributes. But let's say the average person that can have like 60, like maybe 60 on everything, Let's say you come in and then you say, okay, so this is what the average person's defense is going to look like. You're going to be able to get one defensive badge. If you don't put rebounding on your character or uh, I think offensive and defensive, if you don't put the rebounding on your character or stuff like that, you're not going to be able to get the badges. And you're not going to be able to have clamps on the perimeter. You're not going to be able to have intercept. You're not going to be able to have any of that stuff. So if you're saying, yeah, I can play defense, you probably can play defense, but if you don't have the badges from what I saw when I was playing earlier, I could not even reach at a ball that was in the air when I had a player that had interceptor equipped and I had a player that didn't have interceptor equipped. I couldn't even reach for the ball that was in the air without interceptor equipped. It's like the badges really give you the ability to do things this year. So when you're making your build, make sure that you look and see, okay, I see the amount of badges that I'm gonna be able to get. I'm comfortable with this, and I know that I'm not going to be able to, you know, do a whole lot if I don't have the badges, because I promise you, if you go with a build, and you and then you build it a certain way, you build this guy this way, like like some people, okay, I, 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 matter of fact, I'll just go with a play sharp or something like that, all right, and then I'm going to let y'all get up out of here, so let's say we're going to go play sharp, this golden green, right, golden green, play sharp, boom. You build your play sharp the wrong way without any defense, and you're gonna see. I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna get because the average person will probably build them like this. You know, okay, yeah, 75 lay up. I got 70, 70. I don't need no standing dunk. Okay, cool. And then you're gonna do this right here, obviously. Boom. Put this all the way up. Put these all the way up. You probably put your free throw around 75, something like that. Boom. I, I, okay, well, for, obviously you're gonna max this out first too. Nobody asked you, Mary. Chill out. Trying to do something. All right, so boom. Dang, ball handling don't even go that high. But anyway, let's imagine this is a point guard. So on a shooting guard, play sharp, you can't even, I can't even prove my point. 
because it don't even go that high. So uh, 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 you, that answers your question. Shooting guard play sharp, so not going to be able to speed boost. But look, here we go. Play sharp. Bam. Bad speed. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, let's max this out. Let's max out our shooting. It shoots, it maxes out at 84. You got a pretty decent jump shot. You're going to be able to hit free throws. This is what they want you to do. For you to get max shooting badges with a play sharp, you're going to have to max out post fade. It's a throwaway category. You don't even need it. But let's just say, let's just say you don't do that. But, I mean, you're going to want your shooting badges, right? So, like, you got to do that. Okay, bim. Then you're going to max out pass accuracy, obviously. And you're going to max out ball handling. Boom. Done. Now, you got to max out post so you can get your maximum number of badges because you're going to want stuff like floor general. You're going to want diamond. You're going to want ankle breaker. You're going to want quick first step. You're going to need all of that. Now it's going to come down to you making a decision. Okay, bam. Let me max this out up here. Okay, cool. Drive and dunk. And then now we're going to say, okay, I don't need standing dunk. I don't need post hook. I don't need any of that. And the only thing I'm going to put points in is perimeter defense. Look, okay, you still got one badge. Lateral quickness. You still have one badge. Not even one badge. You got one bronze badge. You see what I'm saying? Now, you can come down here and do this. You're dead. You see what I'm saying? So you can't just look at the badges in one category. So now let's say if I would okay now I can okay I can now I can do I can do with I can do without that. So you come down here and then you put up your uh you put up your defensive rebounder, which is actually the key. Now you can get some badges down here. Put up your offensive rebounding, and you know, take down something else. But the whole point of what I'm trying to tell you is is this. If you want to have Let's say you might want to have Hall of Fame intimidating Hall of Fame clamps or just some badges. If you build these guys a certain way, yes, you will be able to have some defense. Your defense will be high, but and your defense will be as high as anybody else. Let's say you do it like this, boom. Your defense will be as high as anybody else, but you're not going to have any badges, so you won't have intimidator where you can't you can't make people miss because you're in the area like like that that seems to be like blocks from the side and, and, and from behind. You're not going to have uh, clamps. You're probably going to fall every time. You're not going to have intercept. You're not going to have any of that. So just be careful when you're making your bill because when you do this, you can end up with something like this, and he's an offensive scoring machine, and he can stay in front of people on defense, but you, you're not going to be effective on defense, I guess. You're not going to really be able to stay in front of people. You're going to get blown by all the time and stuff like that. These are the things that are happening to people. That's probably going to happen to people. I'm just trying to tell y'all this early, man, because this is something that I saw. Your badges are directly connected to that. You might not even need this, man. Everybody might know this already. We know that I had the information last, so it don't matter. But anyway, like the video if you like the video. If you want the badge bills, the badge combinations, and all that good stuff, man, y'all know I always have all this stuff, and I'm the first one with it to tell y'all that stuff, man. These are not actual badges. These are points towards your badges. But if you don't do it right, you're not going to get the badges, and you're going to be sitting there with, with what? Bronze Interceptor. You're going to have one badge. So, you know, it is what it is. I've already talked too long, man. I'm going to catch y'all next time. Until next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Hello!